Welcome to a short weapons tutorial how you can run consistent weapons at trader level 1 with tactical devices and sights. If you end up trying any of these weapons, please let me know in the comments and share your best one tabs with them. Once you have unlocked Jaeger level 1, you can actually build an assault rifle that has a 4 times scope on it. So I'm quickly going to go over the components and build what I consider to be one of the best guns with level 1 traders. We have gotten the VPO-136, uh, which is basically like a Kalashnikov, except it's only semi-automatic. So if you're used to automatic guns, you need to uh, remember to click really quickly when you have this one. Um, but since you probably don't have the workbench unlocked at this point, uh, we're going to go over the parts one by one and how you can mod this into a, a pretty functional piece of piece of equipment. Let's go over the purchases we need to make first. These three items up here are from Skier Level 1. This comes from Prapor. This is from the Mechanic. And these three are from Jaeger. I should also mention that this exact uh, technique of modding also works for the VP209 that you can buy from Jaeger. You just need to remember to load the different ammo, not the 762, but the 366 TKM cartridges. So in order to actually apply them, we need to double click on the gun and we need to remove some parts. So these do almost look identical, but we only want to remove the uh, hand guard, which leaves the gas tube on the gun. And then we want to drag the uh, AK-100 handcart in. This means that we can attach a grip and also a tactical device. So the tactical device will actually be important, especially if we run a scope, because through activating the laser pointer, our hip fire will be much more accurate. Not only because we see where it goes, but because in Tarkov, if you have a tactical device active, your point firing uh, from the hip will be more accurate game mechanic wise. Now so far we still have the iron sights on the gun um, and we would like to install the bastion which has a Picatinny rail so we can mount all of these sights. Now we remove the other cover but then we can't install it because we also need to remove the the rear iron sight. So if we put that on there uh, we can either get this side from uh, Skira if we don't have Jaeger unlocked, or if we do have Jaeger unlocked, we can actually go for the Cobra, uh, or we can buy both the 4x uh, pilot scope and the UTG 25mm. So you need to drag the scope into the, the ring mount and then onto the gun. And then you actually have something that you can uh, easily run on woods as well. Plus you have a higher magazine capacity than if you use the SKS build, because the SKS build also is very, very cheap and it has a 4 times scope because you can mount the PSO scope on the dovetail. Um, but this one has a higher magazine capacity and also you get a tactical device, which you cannot mount on the SKS at this point. If you're going for more close range engagements, you can take off the scope and uh, put on the Cobra. So you at least have a red dot sight uh, and still a tactical device. If you're for example, if you're going to dorms on customs or something and you actually want to see something or you're doing some night raids, uh, this is actually a very, very... I, I would say this is probably the most versatile weapon uh, that you can build with level 1 traders. So let's load some ammo up and go into our hideout. So with T, you either... Um, Enable the flashlight, or if you hit Control T, you cycle through the different modes of your tactical device. You can see the shots are hitting quite well uh, at the distance, so if we turn it off, you can see that the shots spray all over the place, and you're much less likely to hit whatever you're trying to hit. In this situation, we end up being pushed by a scav, so we turn on the laser pointer that we had previously cycled to. And we can take him out without a problem. In this clip we see the added value of the scope. Because we would never have seen that scav in the bushes. That he can look through, but we can't uh, without the scope. Also, it makes it easier to hit your headshots. 
The SKS is one of the most popular weapons early wipe because it has relatively good accuracy, it's very cheap, and uh, you can shoot the 7.62 ammo, which, uh, which slaps early wipe. So we can buy the SKS, the OP SKS from Jaeger, and then we buy the PSO scope from Prepor, which fits into the dovetail mount. And then, also if you have um, Peacekeeper level 1 unlocked, you can buy 20 round magazines. And to use them, we need to remove the uh, internal magazine of the SKS. And uh, then we can run 20 rounders and swap magazines instead of top loading. With the SKS and the PSO scope, you can engage scavs from a safe distance uh, over 100 meters. I would say up to 150 comfortably. And take them out without being uh, detected. In close quarters, the SKS isn't great. But at least you'll not be left defenseless. The last weapon build I want to show in this video is the AKS-74U. Um, this weapon, unfortunately, will remain on iron sights until you get Traders level 2, or if you find a scav gun that has the B-18 mount. So we'll go over the one you can do at Trader level 1, which is drag out the handguard, and then, oh, I have, <laughs> I removed the gas block as well. <laughs> okay, so you swap out the handguard, and that enables you to um, put on a grip from Skier, and most importantly, the tactical device that will increase point fire accuracy. And then at Trader level 2, you can actually get this from Prepor and this from Mechanic, which will allow you to put on a, a reflex sight. So when running this gun, remember to uh, ADS when trying to go for headshots at a, at a distance. Otherwise, just enable the laser pointer and spray people down in close combat. Also remember to bring appropriate amounts of ammunition, because this is basically uh, like a heavy recoil SMG. Um, but it's, it's worked quite well on interchange for me. So uh, yeah, enjoy. Lastly, I quickly want to talk about some of the weapons that don't really need any modding at Trader Level 1. So, for example, this rifle, if you attach the scope, the 4x P-LED scope, is, uh, is pretty great. Um, the shotguns are all great. I wouldn't necessarily go for the double barrel, but at least for the one that has um, five, uh, a magazine of 5, the revolver shotgun that was added. Um, also, all the scav shotguns you find, be it the 133 after you find it in the other ones for the quest, or the 153, because you don't put enough um, shells through them to have to worry about weapon durability too much. Then one that gets overlooked a lot, I think, is the Ketter. And the only problem with this one at level 1 is that you only will get one 30-round magazine. So you cannot buy the 30-round magazines at Prepper level 1, uh, except for the barter trade for the pliers. So you'll be basically be limited to 20 rounders unless you get lucky. Uh, but that is a weapon that doesn't need um, any sort of modification. It unfortunately doesn't take a tactical device, but if you just aim for the head and hold the hold the fire down, uh, that, that should do the trick as well. The PPSH, also uh, frequently found on scavs. Uh, the ammo is actually not terrible for this one. And uh, I can recommend running that as well if you're if you're into SMGs. Thank you so much for watching this video. I uh, hope you learned something. Let me know if you did, and uh, I hope this helps some of the new uh, new players that have joined us for this wipe with the with the huge influx. Welcome everybody.